Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mike here from Search Scientists. And there have been so many changes over the last year for Google Ads, uh, formerly known as AdWords. And one of them is incredibly foundational towards our understanding and optimization of campaigns. And that is conversion attribution. So by the end of this video, you're going to understand this diagram here on the right, like the back of your hand. And also if we take a look here, uh, it's really a way to understand the true value of all of your PPC clicks. So if you're really trying to scale your PPC campaign, this is a must. So it all starts in the early days of the internet 10, 20 years ago, right? How conversion funnels used to work. It used to be a very one-step process. People would see an ad and then convert pretty much right away. So if you think about it, I mean, someone would search for iPhone, they would see some kind of ad that said, get a free iPhone, and then would enter their email right then and there. Today, people operate much, much differently. Let's take a look at a very normal example and who is gonna get the credit. You know, let's say on Monday, someone searches a non-branded cold click on Google Ads. Tuesday, they see a retargeting ad on Facebook and then opt in to your mailing list. Wednesday, they open up that email, they abandon their cart. On Thursday, they see a dynamic cart retargeting ad, then convert who gets the credit. This is one of these new funnels that really weren't around when Google Ads and Google Analytics were all getting started. So inside Google Ads, inside that example, we would see the Google Ads cold click on search get zero cr credit, and then the Google Ads dynamic ad at the end where they did end up converting, that would get all the credit. That is because every single one, every single Google Ads account is set for last click attribution only, meaning 100% of the credit goes to the last click and nobody else gets anything. However, modern digital marketing funnels, you will I have a much more advanced multi-click process. In fact, if you are watching this video, you have found this YouTube video, you're probably gonna be retargeted with our live campaign audit where I do a live campaign audit. Then if you watch that, you will then be retargeted with another video which is asking you to apply to get a free campaign audit. Uh, and then if you opt in, then you will see videos talking about our PPC service. This is a multi-click funnel. People are choosing to move to the next step by how they, by the actions that they take. And this is very, very different than the way that funnels first were. In fact, there were no funnels. It was one click convert. We need to stop thinking that that is the way that people engage with campaigns these days. So the word of the day is attribution. So we're gonna talk about the different kinds of attribution that Google has, jumping in with the first one. This is the most popular one, and this is the most conservative, meaning this will keep your account the smallest, and it is the most conservative, basically giving 100% of the credit to that last click. So basically what you see here is no credit, no credit, no credit, no credit, all the credit. Last click, fairly straightforward. Flip side of that is gonna be first click attribution. This is gonna be where 100% of the credit goes to that first click. So again, 100% credit, nothing, 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 nothing. The big issue with both of these models is that it is difficult to think about the ads that you're optimizing. Because with a last click or even a first click, you will be looking at campaigns that have spend but no conversions and then say that that is a bad campaign or this is a bad keyword, this is a bad ad, this is a bad campaign type, all these different things will say because they're not registering any conversions even if they were involved with the conversion funnel. This represents a big issue. So in order to start addressing this issue, they've developed things like linear attribution, which is basically giving, taking that one conversion and then dividing it up between all the different clicks that someone actually took. So if someone clicks on that cold traffic ad first, then they see a dynamic retargeting ad, it will basically split it up between the both of them, giving credit to both of them. So if there's just one conversion, it'll divide it up in half. There's also a time decay, uh, meaning if someone clicks in the beginning of the month and then they convert sort of twice, uh, I'm sorry, then if they have two clicks right before they convert at the end of the month, it'll give credit to the one that happened most recently, and then a little bit less to the one that happened before that, and then a lot less to the one that happened in the beginning of the month. There's also position-based, where it's kind of like a, a U, right? Where it gives most credit to the first, most credit to the last, and then it spreads it out in the middle. And then there's finally, there's something called data-driven, which is like Google's machine learning algorithm. 
uh, deciding how to attribute your conversion. So it could be completely uh, seemingly random, but basically Google decides what the most impactful thing was. For example, if maybe the first click, they clicked on your website like 30 times, they clicked around, they had a lot of engagement, they probably weigh that a lot more than you know, something, seeing a display ad and then seeing it and converting. So really that's kind of Google's black box there. And it's really only for campaigns and accounts that get at least 500 conversions a month. So linear helps capture and spread out the attribution between top of funnel ads and bottom of funnel ads pretty nicely. So in that initial example, if there's one conversion between two clicks, this is what you would see inside your account, both of them getting 0.5 each. And the huge benefit of doing this, and the reason why I like linear attribution is because you'd never look at a campaign anymore and say, this campaign is useless. If it was involved in a conversion funnel, it will register conversions. It'll even divide up revenue in the exact same way. So if you wanna scale and use some of these top of funnel strategies, you need to have a, you need to leave last click attribution behind. We need to start thinking about full funnels and you should be thinking about full funnels. You know, what is the ad that you serve at the top of the funnel? What do you follow up with? What do you serve after that? People will have multiple click points inside your sales funnel and we need to have an attribution that reflects this. Uh, so if you want to hear some other things that I look for when I audit PPC campaigns, we have a video to a live PPC audit in the link below and stay tuned because we release a new PPC video every single week. This is Mike from Search Scientists. Have a good one.